Hello, boxing fans. Ted Gambardella here with some exciting news. Manny Pacquiao, the greatest pound for pound fighter in the world, went to Washington, D.C. and met with the President of the United States and Senator Harry Reid, who unfortunately Pac Man helped get reelected when he campaigned for him in Las Vegas. Oh, Pac Man met with Obama and remarked that he was pretty tall, and uh, probably because he was so full of BS. And then Obama gave Pac Man three grocery bags full of blue M&Ms with the presidential seal, and a watch with the presidential seal, proving that P.O., President Obama, has no idea what to give a great man. Obama said he could not attend the fight with Mosley in Las Vegas, but he would lie and say he'd watch it on TV. Harry Reid, the worst majority leader in the history of the United States Senate, was asked how long he would last in a fight with Manny and said, about five seconds, making it the first time Harry Reid ever told the truth when asked a direct question. He also went on to say you can be a great athlete and a great person talking about Pacquiao, and you can be a great Democratic senator and a great person. No, I'm just joking. Harry Reid knows you can't be a great Democratic senator and a great person, but you can lie about it and screw the country. And he was so glad that he has six more years to continue destroying the economy and ruining the greatest health care system in the world. Just joking again, there's nothing funny about the truth of Harry Reid and him destroying the economy. Bob Aaron was so happy he almost had a stroke and his mind drifted back to the days when he was courting Muhammad Ali and Ali was doing such great things for boxing like draft dodging and white hate baiting and getting punch drunk. No wait, Ali has Parkinson. Ah, the good old days of boxing. In the meantime, Shane Mosley has said that he is going to do Mayweather's dirty work by beating up Pac-Man and then he remembered that he was the one actually going to get in the fight and get beat up so he started crying. He did mention that after he beats Pacquiao, he would like to fly to the moon on a broom doing shrooms and busting rhymes and rooms about bitches. No way, that was Eminem. Anyway, the Pacquiao circus has left P.O. and returned to more publicity and drama in Las Vegas and Nevada. And Pacquiao gives the people of boxing something to live for, while Mayweather continues to try to figure out a way he can go to jail so he doesn't have to get killed by Pacquiao in the ring. Well, this is the comedy report on what's happening with Manny Pacquiao and the president and Mayweather. I'll see you next time with some more great stuff.